Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. And we are in the Royal Castle in Warsaw in the Rembrandt Hall. With me is Alicja Jakubowska, the curator of the Royal Castle in Warsaw. Oh, pleasure. We are right now in the part of the castle which is devoted to art and two great paintings are I would say patronizing right now this conversation and this interview and those are two Rembrandts and the question is okay Rembrandt after all was not a Polish artist and how did it happen that the two oil paintings became like the home for them that became the Warsaw uh, the Royal Castle in Warsaw Yes, this is a very interesting history indeed. And thank you for asking this question to start our conversation. So we have the girl in the picture frame and a, a score. So two oil paintings by Rembrandt van Rijn himself, considered one of the greatest artists in the history of art. And how did it happen that they actually became exhibits that we have today with us? It all started in the 18th century. Well, both paintings actually were, um, were painted in uh, 1641. We do not know what happened with them after they were created, who owned them, what was um, their history. But it was in 1777, so this is uh, such a date that we, it's quite easy to be remembered, uh, that both paintings were acquired by the last Polish king, so Stanislav August. They were included into his collection of paintings. King generally admired works by Rembrandt, so um, he was very happy to have them, and we think that they were exhibited here in the Rea Castle. So the like, last Polish king, Stanislav yes, exactly. August Poniatowski, yes. bought the girl and the scholar. And we know that he was not the best when it comes to politics, but he definitely was an admirer of art. <laughs> Absolutely. So he had this vast collection of works of art. When it comes to paintings, it was like uh, 2,500, more or less. We do not exactly know so today. So almost 3,000 well, 2,500, uh, more, more or less, and a half. We, okay. are not, we are not quite sure because the, the number um, depends on how we count those paintings. Uh, there were some series of paintings, there were some miniature paintings, so it depends on a scholar um, and on a, on a book, you may find um, different numbers. But uh, all in all, those two wonderful paintings were admired by, by, by the king so much that he decided to place them in his um, private residence, uh, which is um, the Royal Wojenki Park. So, so just to say, to, to explain to our viewers, yeah. uh, the Royal uh, Wajenki Park is another castle in Warsaw, and the palace in Warsaw, palace, exactly. which was a summer palace for, the, for Stanislav August Poniatowski, our last king and he spent some time there. So the paintings to Rembrandt were actually there at the beginning. Well, uh, at the end of his, of his reign, uh, he liked that painting so much that he wanted them to be placed uh, in, a, in a palace, in a building that was his favorite one to stay at. This is what we know today, but unfortunately after the king's death, the collection was sold by his uh, niece, Fortunately, those, uh, those paintings didn't perish. They were acquired by Kazimierz Żewuski, and then by inheritance, they, they finally uh, were included into a collection of Lanskoroński family. Uh, a very important family for the Polish culture, history. There were many members of that family. Let me just mention Karol Lanskoroński, who um, built a palace in Vienna, uh, the Lanskoroński Palace, and it was opened in 1903 to the public so that people could come and see works of art. Among them, those two Rembrandts, the girl and the scholar. So they were taken to Vienna? Yes, 
In the meantime, in the 19th century, they were transferred from Poland Of course, to during Vienna. the partition of Poland, when there was no Poland, right. and uh, of course, also the, our collections and everything what was so beautiful and amazing were either stolen or sent to other places or uh, taken. And But still, the those two paintings of Sturmbrandt remained in Polish hands by Lenin's right, colonies. Exactly. So from 1777 onwards, always in Polish hands. Unfortunately, then the second world war came. The whole collection of Lance Koroński family was, um, was uh, seized and, we may say, just looted by uh, the German occupants. And uh, those paintings were, at the end of the world, they were transferred um, to the former salt mine and they were hidden there, discovered by uh, American army. They were finally moved to the collecting point in Munich. It was where Lance Koronski family finally found um, this, um, these works of art. This is actually not the end of that story. So they were taken they, to, from Vienna then to a bunker or somewhere to, to be uh, hidden? Yeah, yes. And then to Munich? It was possible for the Lanskoronski family to retrieve those works of art among, well, among those uh, very precious paintings and uh, I don't know works of um, uh, of craft, those two wonderful Rembrandts. There was a risk that the collection will be again, I don't know, seized by the by the Austrian state or just the Lanskoronski family didn't know what would happen. So they decided to transfer both paintings to Switzerland. And it's quite a mystery. <laughs> How did they do that? Because uh, there are like no uh, records. They were totally secretly transferred to Switzerland and hidden. Okay. And hidden in Switzerland, yeah. I see. And how did it happen that from Switzerland they ended up eventually in the royal yeah. castle? Eventually, the last living member of the family, Professor Karolina Lanskorońska, decided to donate her collection to Polish state. And she, she divided it between the Wawel Castle in Krakow and the Royal Castle in Warsaw. The Royal Castle in Warsaw got those two beautiful Rembrandts and some other works of art by Dutch masters. So you are incredibly lucky to have those um, two paintings by Rembrandt back. We may say so because after the king's death, they were sold by his, by his niece, by his family. So it was a legal process. They were not looted. Fortunately, they just were found in their good way hands. Back. They were in good hands, and they were donated 1994 to to the Rakhine So more than 25 years now with because, us. Yes. So they found their way back. Basically, <laughs> after after more than a year, 100 years later, back to to the yeah. royal castle. Exactly. Oh, that's amazing. Absolutely incredible. And um, uh, recently, there was a huge exhibit of 36 Rembrandts here in the royal castle. But there are not so many every uh, all the time. Uh, how many Rembrandts are there uh, every day in the royal castle? Here in the Rare Castle, we have those, uh, these two uh, paintings by, by Rembrandt, oil paintings by Rembrandt, and just one print, one graphic art. Um, this is not much, but uh, we need to say that there are uh, only three oil paintings by Rembrandt in Poland in general. So we have like the majority, if we may say so, and the other is the landscape. Uh, which is exhibited in the National Museum in Krakow, uh, to say it more exactly, in the, uh, in the Prince Czartoryski Museum. So we are very proud, two paintings. So everyone who would like to see and visit two original paintings of Rembrandt, and that is the girl and the scholar, are invited to come here to the Warsaw Royal Castle and watch them because they are every day in the open exhibition, among many other amazing pieces of art which are here in the Royal Castle and hopefully will remain here without any other problems. Thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.